Hello everyone, many people may be interested in the rotary screen. And this time, I'm going to introduce you to the circular rotary screen. The main contents are divided into size range, accessories, development introduction and practical demonstration of four aspects. For small size UI needs, we have developed 1.3 inch, 1.5 inch and 2.1 inch 3 models. This is a 1.3 inch rotary screen, its active area is 32.4 mm in diameter, and it is usually used with the accessory 130 SDK. This accessory includes adapter board and cable. The SD card interface and FPC8 pin underscore 0.5 mm interface are installed on the adapter board. This is a 1.5 inch rotary screen, its active area diameter is 26.8 mm, usually used with the accessory 154 SDK. This accessory also includes adapter board and cable. The difference is that its connection cable is FPC 10 underscore 0.5 mm. The larger size is 2.1 inch, its active area is 53.28 mm in diameter. It not only has an encoder, but also has a capacitive touch panel, while the 1.3 inch and 1.5 inch just introduced cannot be touched. Since it also has an 8 pin underscore 0.5 mm interface, it can also be used with the 130 SDK. Below I will introduce the simple development process of the rotary screen. We need to use DeedGus software and C51 code. In the first part, we will talk about DeedGus software. This is my design idea. I placed a total of 5 pages. Page 0 is the main page, and the others are subpages. Subpages can be pressed back to the main page. Press page 0 to go to page 1. And rotate page 1 to go to page 2. And so on, in a cycle. Page 1 can also be rotated counterclockwise to page 4 in another cycle. Since we are using 2.1 inch rotary screen with touch panel, we can set up some touch controls to switch pages. The first is the basic touch module control. This is page switching. When touched, it can switch to the specified page. Next is the page sliding control. It can set the slide to the previous page and the next page. You can design it into a cycle. The second part is the C51 code. We need to understand some of the underlying functions of Dwin using these already done functions can save us the time to write codes. The first one is page underscore change. It can go to the specified page according to the page ID. The second is encoder underscore receive. It can receive the encoder rotation states. 1 equals turn clockwise, 2 equals turn counterclockwise, 3 equals press, for equals do not turn. The third is get page ID. It can get the current page ID. For more development contents, you can refer to the development guide. Here's the download link. Now follow me through the practical steps. First we need to open the DeedGus software. Click New. And set the resolution to match that of your screen. Then set the file path. And click OK. Click the plus sign and select the background image. The image needs to be named from 00, 00 onwards. Next we need to generate 32 ICL background image. Click Welcome, then click Dwin ICL Generator. Select the background image directory. And click Generate. Name it 32 ICL file. Then click touch and display config. Click on page 0 and select the basic touch module control. Box select touch area.
page switch selects page 1. Click on page 1, select the page sliding control, and box select the touch area. Select page 4 on the previous page, and page 2 on the next page. Copy the control three times. Click on page 2. Select page 1 on the previous page and page 3 on the next page. Click on page 3. Select page 2 on the previous page and page 4 on the next page. Click on page 4. Select page 3 on the previous page. This creates a cycle of page switching. Then, generate the file and click Save. This is our 2.1 inch rotary screen. We need a hard ruler, insert it into the hole. And pry the shell open. We can see the PCB. This is a 6 pin underscore 2.0 mm socket for serial communication. This is a micro USB port. It is a power port. This is the accessory port. Insert the SD card into the SD card slot of the accessory. And then insert the cable into the socket. Then plug the power cable. You can see the blue screen showing END. Unplug the power and connecting cables. And power on again. We can see the initial interface. Then try to rotate the screen. Thanks for watching.